Good afternoon, everybody. Can you hear me? Hello, yes. Yes, okay, thank you. Welcome everybody to the class number 15. And uh, remember that this is the week number four of classes. Tomorrow is the last day of classes. Tomorrow we finish with the level three, okay? Uh, so as I told you yesterday, we have a presentation today. Okay, in this presentation, you will describe uh, biographic information you describe your autobiography, okay? So you will describe your autobiography and in this autobiography, you will describe uh, your uh, important points. For example, your birthplace, the birth date. You can talk about your parents. You can talk about your education background, etc. okay? And, uh, and well, remember that we are using the simple past here. We are using the, the verb be in simple past too. Okay, so let's practice some of the questions in simple past, everybody. I will show you here okay, some questions to make a review of the, of the simple past. Okay, so we will talk about a fantastic trip, everybody. We will talk about a fantastic trip. Okay, so in this case, this is an experience that we have. This is an experience, a fantastic trip. So what do we do in this case? In this fantastic trip, I describe a specific place I visited, okay? For example, you can say, I went to the Cameron. I went to the Cameron last December, for example. Okay, and then you can say, I went there uh, with my family, or I went there with my friends, etc. And then in this idea, I traveled by. So in this case, I traveled by bus, I traveled by car. I travel by airplane, okay? And then the activities you did in this place. So if I went to the camera, I can say, for example, I swam in the ocean, I ate a fish, I drank a different, uh, different things. Okay, and then you can say, I stay there for two days and then, the part that you like about the strip. But uh, before we make this description, okay, before we make this description, let's pay attention to this. We have some questions about the simple past. Okay, this is a, these are some questions about a fantastic trip. So the first question is, where did you go? I went to uh, the camera, for example. Who did you go with? What is the meaning of the question number two, everybody? When you translate this question, so you can say here, ¿Con quién fue usted? ¿Con quién fue? And the question three, how did you travel? How did you travel? I travel by car, I travel by airplane, Como viajó usted a ese lugar? Okay, how did you travel? And then the question four, what did you do there? What did you do there? So in this case, in the question four, I can say I swam in the ocean, I practiced sports, I ate a lot of food, I drank a beer, I drank coffee, etc. many things. And the question five, how long did you stay there? ¿Cuánto tiempo permaneció ahí? ¿Por cuánto tiempo se quedó? How long did you stay there? 
I stay there for two days, for one day. And the last question, what did you like about the trip? ¿Qué le gustó del viaje? I like the, uh, for example, I like the food. I like the different sports that you can practice there, etc. Now, let's listen to a classmate here, everybody. Let's listen to a classmate. Okay, let's see, for example, uh, Alejandro. Alejandro, turn on the microphone and the camera, please. Okay, Alejandro, okay. tell me. Uh, tell me about a fantastic trip. Okay, un viaje fantástico e inolvidable que usted tuvo. Okay, the first okay. question is, where did you go? I went to go, I went to, perdón, sorry. Uh -huh. I went to Guatemala City. Okay, you went to Guatemala City. Who did you go with? I went with my, with my friends. Okay. And now everybody, let's include one more question here. Let's include one more question, observe please. Okay. When did you go? Cuando fue usted? When did you go there? And then you can say, for example, I went last vacations, last December, etc. So in this case, so when did you go to Guatemala City, Alejandro? I, I went to three years ago. Okay, I went to Guatemala three years ago. Okay. How did you travel? How did I you travel? Traveled. I traveled by bus. Okay. What did you do there? Uh, the activities. I visited this place. I went to, I ate. Uh -huh. What did you do I... in Guatemala City? I visit the Centro Histórico Seria. Okay, so in this case, historic places. I visited, I visited historic places. I visited historic places. I visited the restaurants. Okay. Um, there. I went to conference. Okay, you went to a conference too. How long did you stay in Guatemala? One week. Okay, I stay there for one week. I stay there for one week. What did you do? Uh, sorry, what did you like about the trip? ¿Qué le gustó del viaje? What did you like about the trip? I like <coughs> the experience. Experience, experience. Yes, experience. I like the experience. Okay, perfect. Now, sure. Alejandro, yeah. choose a different classmate, please. Alejandro, select a different okay. classmate. Okay. Israel. Israel. Okay, Israel. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, Israel. Very good. Turn on the 
camera and the microphone, please. Okay, Israel, let's talk about a fantastic trip that you have. Uh, where did you go? I went to the beach. Okay. Who did you go with? I I went with my my parents. Okay, I went with my with your parents. Uh, when did you go to the beach? Um, I I went to December. Last December. Passado December. Yes. Last December. Yes. Okay. How did you travel? I I travel by in pickup. Okay, I travel by pickup. Okay. What did you do in the beach? Hi, Israel. What did you do in the beach? The activities you performed there. I uh, esa no sé cómo responderle. Ah, okay. Las actividades que usted hizo en la playa. For example, you can say I ate um, fish. Uh, I drank beer. I play soccer. I, I, I swam I in the ocean. Eat, I eat fish. I ate. I, I ate. play soccer. I ate fish. Okay, very well. How long did you stay in the beach? I stay. Um, one day. Just for one day. What did you like about the beach? Uh, I like the beach. Mm -hmm. You like the ocean, the beach. Okay, very good. Thank you, Israel. Thank you for your participation. Okay, yeah. everybody. Now you are going to interview your partners. You are going to work with a partner in this case. Va a trabajar con un compañero. Okay, in a special room okay so we will do the activity one more time uh, we will open okay an uh, extra room and you will work in pairs okay you will work in pairs and interview your partner interview your partner please let's have an example in this moment everybody vamos a ver un ejemplo uh, let's see uh, Katia Monterrosa. Okay, turn on the microphone and the camera, please. Okay, Katia and Kenya Rivas. Very good. Okay, Katia, ask Kenya seven questions, please. Okay. Kenya, where did you go? I went to Cerro Verde. Who did you go with? I went with my family. When did you go there? Um, I went three years ago. How did you travel? Um, I traveled by bus. What did you do? What did you do there? Um, I walked. I had a lunch with my family. 
Um, I relax. How long did you stay there? Um, um, no sé cómo responder eso. Ah, okay. How long did you stay? ¿Cuánto tiempo se quedó ahí? I stayed there. Fue todo el día prácticamente. Okay, I stayed there all day. I stay there all day. Ah, okay. That's what you can say. I, I stay st there all day. Ah, okay. okay. What did you like about the trip? Um, I like the the beautiful of nature. Okay, the beautiful nature. Now, Kenya, seven questions for Katia Montagosa, please. Seven questions, practice, please. Uh, Katia, where did you go? I went to Semuk Champe. Who did you go with? I went with my friend. And um, when did you go there? I went three years ago. How did you travel? I traveled by minibus. Um, what did you do there? I swam in a river. I climbed a mountain. I I enter in a water cave. How long did you stay there? I stayed there for two years. Um what did you like about the trip? I like uh Adventure and nature. Okay, you like the adventure. Okay, thank you, Kathy, and thank you, Kenny. Thank you for your participation. Okay, now everybody, you will do something similar in this moment. Va a ser algo similar en este momento. So in this moment, let's do something similar. Okay, work with a partner and interview your partner with the seven questions. Where did you go? Who did you go with? When did you go there? How did you travel? What did you do? How long did you stay there? And what did you like about the trip? Okay, after that, okay, your partner will ask you the same questions. Okay, so everybody, let's do it. Let's work on that in this moment. Ah, uh, I forgot it. Take a picture, everybody. Take a picture of the questions, please. Take a picture, please. If you're working with a cell phone, take a screenshot. If you're working in a computer, take your cell phone and take a picture, please. Remember, in this case, you can you can talk about the experience. Okay, take a picture or take a screenshot. Okay, let's do it, everybody. Let's practice the questions. Talk about a fantastic trip.
Okay, everybody in this moment, accept the invitation, please. Accept the invitation and let's practice. Who did you go with? I went with my friends to the college. Okay. When did you go there? Who did you travel? I travel by bus. What did you do trip? I I'm um, um, Granada. How long did you stay there? Um, I I say um uh, weekend. What did you like about the trip? I Where did you go there? Um, I went two years ago. How did you travel? I traveled by car. And what did you do there? Um, I walked and I ate forgotten. Um, I saw
que llegamos. Uh -huh. Ya entiendo. Sí. Ya terminamos. Ay. Ok, very well. Ok. So, very good. Thank you. Teacher, no se le escucha. Now, can you hear me? Yes. 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 Okay. Thank, yes. You. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Uh, so, you were talking about a fantastic trip, everybody. You were talking about a fantastic trip. And now you will make a short description of this fantastic trip. You will make this short description in a paragraph. Okay, the paragraph is like this. Let me show you. So in your chat, everybody, let's write a paragraph like this. Let's write this paragraph, a fantastic trip. For example, you can say, I went to Cerro Verde. I went there in, with my family. I traveled by bus. Remember in Spanish? In Spanish, you say, for example, yo viajé en bus, o yo viajé en carro. So in English is, I traveled by bus, I traveled by car. So if you say, I travel in car, uh -uh, that's incorrect. That's not possible. I travel in bus, no. Okay. I travel by car, I travel by bus, or I travel by airplane, okay? And then you continue describing the activities you do there. You did in, in this trip. Okay. And then how long you stay and what you like about the trip. So let's write a paragraph. So in the paragraph, I am going to give you the example here. So I say a fantastic trip. Remember, you have to share this information in the chat. So you can say, for example, I went to the camera. I went with my friends. I traveled by car. And then the activities I did there. In the camera, for example. I swam in the ocean. I ate seafood, I drank beer and soda, and I practice sports. I stayed there for two days, for example.
I like the ocean and the food they serve. Okay, everybody pay attention to the chat. This is my example. This is my example, my, my writing part, my paragraph. A fantastic trip. I went to the Cameroon. I went with my friends. I traveled by car in the Cameroon. I swam in the ocean. I ate seafood. I drank beer and soda, and I practiced sports. I stayed there for two days. And I like the ocean and the food they serve. Okay, this is something similar you have to do in this moment, everybody. Ahora en el chat, hagamos algo similar. Okay. Describe the fantastic trip. Okay. Lo que le dijo a su compañero o a su compañera es lo que nos va a escribir ahora, pero en líneas, en a paragraph. Okay, let's do it, everybody. Write the information in the chat, please. Ahí tienen los dos modelos. On the screen and in the general chat. Okay, in this case for Katya, I stay there for two days. Stay. Remember, we are using the verbs in the past, in the simple past. I stay there for two days. So you're supposed to use the verbs in simple past. Okay, everybody, continue. You have two examples now. Katya's example and my example. Okay, now Kayla, I went to the devil store. I went there with my family, I traveled by car. I walked and I ate. I stayed there for all day. I like the view. Okay, and then we have uh, Kenya. I went to a Pokemon. I went with a friend. I traveled by car. I walked. I ate the focus, I saw the crater and all the volcano. It's an incredible view. I stayed there for three hours. I like the weather and the view of nature. Okay, and then I went to Nicaragua City. 
I travel by airplane. I like the food and islands to Granada. Okay, thank you, Maribel. But you need to include more details, Maribel. ¿Y puede decir con quién fue? I went to Nicaragua. I went with my family. I travel by airplane. Remember, Maribel, it's important to use the verbs in the past. The verbs in the past, please. Now, let's see, Lourdes, I went to Posa Verde in San Miguel de Pesantes. I went there with my friends. I traveled by car, by boat. I stayed there for one day. I like the food because it's a beautiful place. And then, Alejandro, I went to Guatemala City. I went with my college friends. I traveled by bus in Guatemala, in Guatemala City. I ate. New food, I drank new beers, I went to conference and visited historical places. I stayed there for a week. I like the time with my friends. Now, Elise, I went to Volcán in Amantepec. I went with my friend, I traveled by car in the volcano. In this case, the volcano. I climb, I walk a lot. After that, we went to the Cuatepeque Lake. I stayed there for three hours. I like the weather and amazing view. Okay, very good. So remember, stay is in the past simple. Stay. Now we have Santiago's information. I went to the beach. I went there with my family. I traveled by car. I ate fish. I played soccer and I bathed in the sea. I stayed there all day. I like the sea. Ah, in this case, Maribel is alone. I went there alone, like this. Yo fui sola. Okay, now Israel, I went to Cerro Verde. I went there with my friends, I traveled by car in Cerro Verde, I ate a lot. And I walk a lot. I stay there all day. I like Cerro Verde and the weather. So be careful, Israel. I like. You need the letter K there. And then the weather. Okay, Maribel, I went, you went alone to Nicaragua. Very good. Okay, guys, thank you. Thank you for sharing your paragraph. And in this moment, let's start with the presentations, everybody. Let's start with the presentations. Vamos a dar inicio con las presentaciones. Okay. Presentations, everybody. So in the presentation, remember, you will describe your autobiography. Okay, everybody, turn on the cameras and the microphone, please. Turn on the cameras and the microphone. Thank you. Turn on the microphones and the camera. Okay, and the first participant is Kayla. Okay, Kayla, describe your autobiography, please. My name is Kayla Lopez. I was born on November 29th, 1998. I was born in San Salvador. I have a sister. My parents are Rafael Lopez and 
Patricia de López. My father is a technician in engineering and my mother is a teacher. <clears throat> I studied elementary school and, and, and middle school in Payanovo School. And after that, I studied high school in Inframor. I graduated in 2017. After high school, I started in college. Okay. Okay, very good. Thank you, Kenya. Thank you for your information. Now let's continue with Alejandro. Alejandro, it is your turn. Okay. My name is Alejandro Rivera. I was born on June 6, 1993. I was born in San Salvador, but I grew up in San Vicente. My parents are Alfredo Lopez and Elizabeth Rivera. Uh, my father is a chiropractor and my mom is a nurse. Uh, I studied at high school in Instituto Nacional Albert Camus. But uh, now I study history in the college. Okay. Thank you, Alejandro. Thank you for your participation. Now let's continue with Lourdes. Lourdes, your autobiography, please. Okay. Um, my name is Lourdes Hernandez. I am 28 years old. I am from El Salvador. I live in Cuscatancingo. My hobbies are listening to music and reading. I studied at high school in Itexal and I studied at University UCA. I am a lawyer. My parents are Marcos and Marisol. My birthday is October 24. Um, my favorite food is pasta. My favorite color is black. I consider myself honest and friendly. Nice to meet you. Okay, very good. So this is the biographic information from okay. Lourdes. Okay, Lourdes, thank you for your participation. And now let's continue with uh, Israel. Israel, it's your turn now. Turn on the camera and describe your autobiography, please. Uh, my name is Israel Femus. I was born on February 1st, 1989. I was born in Sudan. I have uh, two brothers. My parents are Israel Lemus and Maria Rivera. My father is a farmer and my mother is a housewife. I studied elementary school in Medellin School and Centro Escolar Professor Dr. Benjuel. I studied high school in Inter. I graduated in 2009. After high school, I studied at the University Tecnológica in Salvador and Ingeniería Industrial. Industrial Engineer. Industrial. Industrial, okay. Industrial Engineer. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Israel. Thank you for your participation. 
Okay, now let's continue with uh, Katia. Katia Monterosa, describe your autobiography, please. Okay. My name is Katia Monterosa. I was born on August 17, 1972. 1972. I, I was born in Santa Ana. My parents are Robert Monterrosa and Cristina Figueroa. My father is a counter, counter, counter. accountant. And my accountant. And my mother is a housewife. I studied elementary school and middle school in San Vicente de Paul School. After that, I studied high school in Bautista School. Uh, uh, after that, as, after high school, I studied at, uni, at college. After high school, you studied at college. Okay. Thank you, Katya. Thank you for your autobiography. Thank you for your participation. Now, let's continue with Ibis. Ibis, describe your autobiography, please. Okay. Um, hi, my name is Ibis Mendez. I was born on December 23rd, 1987. I was born in San Salvador. Uh, I have one brother and one sister. My mother, my parents are Jose Mendez and Maria Estela. My father passed away six years ago. Uh, my mother is housewife and I study elementary school and middle school in Centro Escolar Salguero and I study high school in Colegio Teodoro Hers and I graduate in 2005 and after high school I get a job I got a job Good job. Okay, very good. Thank you, Ibis. Thank you for your participation and thank you for sharing your autobiography. Uh, Santiago, are you ready? Yes. Yes. Okay, Santiago, describe your autobiography, please. My name is Santiago Ramirez. I was born on August 5th, 1993. Uh, I was born in Santa Ana. I have one brother and four sisters. My parents are Santiago Ramirez and Ana Pineda. My father is a counter and my mother is a housewife. I study elementary school and middle school in Centro Escolar Juan Jose Bernal. After that, I study high school in Centro Escolar Inza. I graduate from high school in, in 2011. Uh, after high school, I study at college. Okay, thank you, Santiago. Thank you for sharing your autobiography. Thank you for your description. Now let's see, Maribel, describe your autobiography, please. My name is Maribel Pineda. Mm -hmm. uh, um, I born. I was. I was born. I was born in May May twenty four. Uh, 19, 1979. Mm -hmm. uh, I work. I work in textile. I two dollars. You have two dollars. What about your education, Maribel? I study. Where did you study high school? I. I designer uh, designer in clutch. Okay, just that's what you study. Okay, 
Thank you, Maribel. Thank you for your participation. Thank you for sharing part of your autobiography. And now let's continue with uh, Kenya. Kenya, describe your autobiography, please. Um, my name is Kenya Rivas. I was born on January 16, 1999. I was born in San Salvador. I live in Ilopango. Mm, I have a little sister. And my parents are uh, Irma Cartagena and William Rivas. And my father is a um, truck driver. Truck and driver. my mom is housewife. Um, I studied elementary school and middle school in Complejo Educativo Reparto Valle Nuevo. Um, after that, I studied high school in Inframore School. I graduated uh, from high school in 2017. Um, after high school, I started college in Universidad del Salvador. Okay, what did you study in the University of El Salvador, okay? I studied computer system engineering. Computer systems engineer, okay, fantastic. Thank you, okay, thank you for describing your autobiography. Thank you for your participation. Okay, guys, and for tomorrow, for tomorrow we have another challenge, the last one. For tomorrow we have another mini presentation. And in this presentation, this is what you will do, everybody. You will describe a fantastic trick like this. Okay, like this. In two minutes, you have to describe a fantastic trick. So, for example, I, I, I will ask you, okay, uh, let's see. Uh, for example, I say, Lourdes, tell me about your fantastic trip. Okay, my fantastic trip, I went to uh, Antigua, Guatemala. I went there with my family, for example. We traveled by, by bus in Guatemala, in, in Antigua, Guatemala. We visited historic places. I ate typical food. And I took pictures, I uh, went to the church, I stayed there for two days. Okay, I like the architecture from, from uh, Antigua Guatemala. Okay, so something similar is what you will say tomorrow, everybody. So tomorrow, describe your fantastic trip. Or tomorrow, describe your fantastic trip, please. Don't forget it. And remember, it's important that in the description, we need to have the verbs in the past simple. We need to have the verbs in the past simple, okay? And, uh, and remember, for tomorrow, we finish classes. For tomorrow, we finish level three. And remember that if you haven't finished, if you haven't finished the, the exercise and the evaluations in the platform, you have to take them away. Okay. It's necessary that you can take these exercises and, and the evaluations. And if you have questions, okay, if you have questions, please let me know. Tomorrow is the last day to complete the exercise and take the evaluations. Okay, thank you for your participation, everybody. And thank you for your attention. And tomorrow, don't forget, it. tomorrow the mini presentation, the description of your fantastic trip. Okay? Thank you and have a good night. See you tomorrow at 9 p.m. Goodbye. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow at 9 p.m. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night.